right so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to use uh, WP CLI which is the WordPress command line interface to connect to our database uh, currently we have uh, our instance uh, in all of its files downloaded and to do that we use the WP core download uh, command to do that and so when you do that what will happen is it will download all of our um, required files for the install so if we were to run our WP server what you'll notice is that it'll bring us to it'll bring us to our setup screen but then we reach a point too where we'll have to um, add in our database credentials to get going but I want to be able to show you how you can actually do this from the WordPress CLI um, to get this done so there's a command in here <clears throat> let's stop the server So there's a command that we want to use, which is the WP config. And what it does is it'll generate the config file, but then we also have some options that we can use to add to the config file that'll write our database credentials to that file. So right now I'm running my MySQL database within um, a Docker container. So if you want to see Let's go docker container ls you'll see that we have our two docker containers one is for a cms that i'm running and then one is um, dedicated to wordpress um i'll open up sql pro so we can actually see let's see go to port um 3307 and then add in my root password for it all right so we'll need to create a database too so let's create a database so we'll just call it um wordpress sites um is it already in there yeah it's already in there so we'll just leave that as is and so now when we run this wp config create and we'll add our database name which is uh, WP sites uh, the user is root and the database password is root and that's for my docker development container that's holding my SQL database here and then what we want to do is for the host we want to do um, local hosts and then the port number so that's something that's critical to this piece here since there isn't uh, an option in WPCLI uh, for the port so you have to basically run the entire um, the entire host um, host address uh, to this option here so if we do WP host then we do and I haven't I, I haven't tried the alias before but I just like to um, do the numerical uh, value for the the host so when we do that it'll create our wp config now let's look at the wp config to make sure that it has our and there it is okay and the good thing about this too it also runs our uh, unique keys and salts which is great um this is something good that um that's that's useful for when we uh run any um, WPCLI 
um, commands on our actual production server so you don't have to go to, to this website to do it it'll generate every um, unique key and salt uh, from that single command so we see here that we have our database name um, our username and then password and then the entire host now from there what we want to do is let's quit so from there what we want to do is go back to this command which is the WP core install and this will basically run our entire um, install process as we would if we were to continue on here in the GUI so what I want to do is I want to run this command core install but then I also want to use um, the URLs for this but I'll leave that option out I'll, I'll just give it a title so let's just give it a title let's just call it um, I don't know WordPress Let's, uh, dev site then the admin user admin and then the admin password admin pw and then the admin email admin at example.com right so now we do that too many arguments oh so what I'll need to do is run that same command but I need to pass it in as a string instead of this because it's gonna see it as arguments rather than a string so run that again Oh, missing the URL so again well, let's put it on this end I don't know why I'm doing it all the way at the front end but we do that URL and since we're going to be running this on our local host we might as well just do this a local host 8080 and install all right so now that we see it's successful we should be able to run the server as is and what will happen is we should be able to log into our WordPress instance with the user um, username and password that we give it gave it in the the core install piece so let's run our server again server do this all right so we have our site installed and to get to our admin panel let's just do that and do admin admin pdw and we're in so uh, you'll notice that we went ahead with those commands of the core install well I'm sorry let's go up so we first we created um, another config file because there is one in there that's a wp-config-sample.php but for, in this case, what we wanted to do is get straight to creating an, um, an actual config file for our instance. So what we did is um, we ran the command of WP config create and then passed in our options for the database name, database user, database password. And then we used the, um, the numerical values for our um, database host, which is the local host 
So 27.0.0.1 represents the local host. And then the port that it's running on, which is my Docker container here. I'm sorry, this one here. All right. And then from there, uh, we viewed our um, config file to ensure that um, these options or these requirements were written to the config file ran the core install um, functions and then um, passed in these uh, per these arguments for it. Uh, this one here and so if you have any spaces uh, for your title which most likely you will you'll need to pass it in as a string so you know just use the double quotations around there once we did the install, it, it installs correctly, and then you run the WP server function, and then that will run your site, and you should be able to log in from there. And that's it. Another thing, too, is if you have any other, if you have any other, um, projects or anything occupying port 8080 you can also um, change your ports um, by passing in a, a port number into this um, this uh, port option here so if I wanted to change my port let's just say I just did 8089 I could run it as 8089 And I still get the same result. So um, that was it for um, connecting to the database and ensuring that um, you can log into your site using WPCLI. So if you like this content that I just shared, please subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit that notification button while you're at it so you could actually be notified when I post my next video.